request to approve 8 plus 8? What about counters? Wait for it. All those things? Oh, good. That's what I'm going to ask you. All right. Here's, uh, make sure you're right side up for your number pathway if that is your strategy. So I'm going to ask one of you to pull out a number. And whatever number it is, you're going to write it as a double equation and pick your way to prove to me that your answer is correct. So you may already know it in your head, and that's okay. If you want to solve it right away with what you think you know, go ahead. But I still want you to prove it to me using some method, all right? Okay, Nina, pick a card, any card. Oh, my goodness. All right, that's it. Double two. Go ahead. Wait, all of us? Everybody. Okay. Double it. Here, you found the double inside of two, which was fabulous. I didn't, I didn't quite explain what I wanted you to do. So now can you do it for two, honey? Can you do, can you double two? Two plus two. Calder, how are you going to prove to me that you're right? Hmm. Or finger flash. Oh, yeah. I already saw finger flash. Now I'm bored with finger flash. <laughs> Show me something else. You've got all these great tools. What's your what's your tool of choice? Oh, he did a he did a drawing as well. Can you show me on the math rack two plus two? How about can you show me on the ten frame two plus two? That's such a, I know it's an easy one, but we're working on proving our answer. I proved my answer. Like I see. You know what, I, I, at first, you know what I thought that was? What? I could have, I, you're right, it does look like 11. I thought they were 10 steps. Yeah, they were. No. No. <laughs> so you did it as one plus one, I got it. I thought that you were just making it. All uh, right. Interesting here how you did it in parts, right? Part, part, and then you can see the whole is how many? Four. Right, I'm going to hope. I may actually. Can we erase? I'm going to cheat a bit. I'm going to fuck out the list. Right, can you double seven? Think about what you did with two. to count his dots using a five group. And he's, he got to 10. Show them where you got 10. Here. Okay, so the parts would be how many? Five. And is 10. And then what's left? So, so you could see 10 and four, right? Like we've been practicing. Uh, Knowing the teens are 10 and some more. 
<laughs> you're breaking seven apart, right? You're decomposing it into five plus one, this seven. You broke it, you broke five out of seven, how many would you have left? Give it two, and then put two and two. And you're left with four. And so you're total. Oh. That's an interesting way. Oh, Calder, talk to Mina and Jacob and Kira about what you did. Can I hold it and you can explain? Jacob, peek up here for a second. So there's five and both of those sevens, which equals ten. And there's two in both of those sevens. And two and two makes four, so it must be fourteen. Do you see this thinking, Jacob? Mm -hmm. He took seven and broke it into five and two, and then he was he could group those parts a little more easily. It reminds me of what you did on the ten frame, right? You just did yours with counters. All right, let's erase again. Oh, what happened to my And we will get Calder to draw this one. Nine plus nine. Oh, he picked a big one. Nine plus. Those five groups again that we talked about. Mm. What are you doing, Mia? <laughs> How many are in the top row? Five. Yeah. How many are in that top row? Five. So those two are how many? Ten. Ten and some more. Ten and four is fourteen. And how many more at the bottom? And 14 and 4 is? Kira, speak up here. Uh, yeah. When we were talking, we were using yeah. the unifix cubes, and we talked about the double. Like, for example, let's say we did 5 and 5, which we know is 10. And then we said, oh, well, I could do, I could use my one mores to figure out if 5 plus 5 is 10, 5 plus 6 must be uh, the Eleven. 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 What do you think? Five, five plus six. Use, use, my, use the math back. Five plus five is ten. So five plus six must be... Could you count them? How many did I push over? All together. Five plus six, how many in all? Can you tell me this many? Five and five is, and one more is? Yeah. So it's so here what I was saying is five plus five is ten, so five plus six must be eleven. I want to see if you guys have tomorrow. I wanted to see if you guys could touch what we were doing with these Ready for what? Yeah, the double equation, exactly, Sadie and Simon. That was good teamwork together. Um, so I thought, and you were, I, I remember you were using the math rack a lot to do yours yesterday. Do you remember what you were using down there? Are you solving double problems? You, oh, that's right, you were drawing dots. I think I'm challenging you to use the math rack at the you did, you were doing some dots. Same? Right, Simon, do you remember how you were solving doubles? Like if we gave you, I don't know. Oh yeah, I, I remember, um, I was using uh, those and this. Oh, you did a little bit of both. How about you, Emma? And lots of you were knowing some in your head, too, were you? So I'm thinking that maybe what we could do today is take that same idea, but use it to play a game. So you wouldn't necessarily have to write the equation, because the equation's going to be on the game board, but you would still need to prove your answer. So let's do, let me do it for example. So for example, if I rolled, 
and we have so much stuff on it. If I roll a three, are you okay that you're upside down for a second here? Okay. If I rolled a three and I met start, I would move three spaces. And I'm landing on the equation which says four plus four. And then I have to say what I think it is or, or figure it out. And my partner has to make sure that I am correct. So you have to check my proof. If I say Foster, I know four plus four is 10. You would have to say, it's not 10? What did I do wrong? Did I push over four plus four? I didn't, did I? All right, so you would have to tell me, oh, no, I did. That's why I got the wrong answer. So Foster could help me correct it. Now, the rules say if you get it wrong, you have to move back two spaces. I like to play if you get it wrong and you have a nice partner like Foster, they can help you fix it. And you can stay on those things, all right? So we started with an equation. Okay, thanks, Simon. Are we working out who's going first? I Go first. I was very nice. You can you go grab a lion pride sticker? Oh, and you're saying, but you can, but she can go. All right. How about if we let Ella go? Can we do that? All right, Ella, you go first while Sadie's getting her lion pride sticker. He wanted, that was important to him. So I saw that you started with an equation. Where are you going to go from here? He's going to the, can I have, can I have the right side up, you sweetie? It was my fault. I left it with that white to the right. Watching him check. Do you guys agree with it? Was that good proof? And five plus five is two. Can your toes and you should take your shoes off, huh? All right, so she gets to stay. Who's turn? I mean, eight. Did you did you, did you do it with the math rack? Did you show them, sweetie, what you did? Okay. Good job. What in six? But say the problem.
Yeah. Yeah. 